However, the revolt of 1857 did not occur suddenly. After the conquest of Bengal by the British in 1763, common masses were not happy with the economic, political and social policies of the British. The unjust policies of the British resulted in resentment and discontent, which led to the outbreak of a revolt. Some famous scholars and Indian nationalist leaders viewed 1857 as the first war of independence. According to them, both Hindus and Muslims participated in the revolt against the common enemy. British Governor Disraeli also referred to it as a national revolt. Effects of the Uprising a massive change in the British policy was observed after the revolt of 1857. These changes were aimed at strengthening the British control and preventing any revolts in the future. In August 1858, the British Parliament passed a new act and transferred the powers of East India Company to the British Crown. A member of British cabinet was appointed, the Secretary of State for Indian Affairs, responsible to the British Parliament, was made in charge of British political affairs in India. The title of Viceroy was given to the Governor General, who was answerable to the Crown through the Secretary of State. The Secretary of State was assisted by a council called the Indian Council. In 1858, Queen Victoria issued a proclamation assuring the Indian princes that no further annexation would be made. They could pass over their kingdoms to the ears but had to accept the British paramountcy. She also promised not to interfere in the social and religious customs and practices of the Indians. To win the loyalty of the local landlords, the British awarded them titles and recognized their traditional land rights. The number of European soldiers was increased in comparison to Indians. Artillery was placed under European officers and soldiers. Strategic military positions were also handed over to British soldiers. Now Gurkhas, Pathans, and six were recruited in large numbers. The British pursued the policy of divide and rule to prevent any uprising in the future. In fact, they followed a conscious policy of discrimination by impounding the property of the Muslims and accusing them of starting the rebellion. The uprising of 1857 was crushed but it was considered a landmark in the history of India. This revolt encouraged Indians to struggle against the oppressive British regime. The inspiration fused by this revolt paved the way for national movement in the future. In other parts of the world, during that time, a massive revolt took place in the southern part of China around 1850. The heavenly kingdom of great peace, also known as Taiping Rebellion, led by Hong Jingguang, was established. The Taiping rebels wanted to establish a kingdom where a form of Christianity should be practiced, where consumption of opium, tobacco, alcohol and illegal activities like gambling, slavery and prostitution were prohibited. Furthermore, there should not be any discrimination between men and women. The emperor of the Qing dynasty, along with the British and French armed forces, put down the Taiping rebellion.